I S U P K. Yeah, yeah, it's your boy Golden. Let you know what's up when we rolling up, man. Hey, man, real quick, man, handsome, check it out. You got to tune in, man. The brother Tazariak is doing some mean things. Big shout out to I S U P K, man. Mean, man, you got to get that work. You got to go to the platform and get that work. You're giving it up, you hear me? You're not gonna come and flood me with stuff and then run off. This ain't a venting session. This is like this is we teach out here. Well, Alright? And this and is the first time it. you stopped. Yeah, it is. Well listen, so, you, but shame it. on you. Shame you on you. Should have, you should have stopped a long time. You should have stopped and said something a while ago. Maybe you wouldn't be this confused about where the women are. We have wives. We have tons of wives. You understand? We have tons of kids. Just because they want all to Why? I'm speaking for them. Speak for me. I, I am speak speaking for, for you. I, I am speaking for you. I am speaking for you right now. I'm speaking for you. I'm speaking for every black, Hispanic, and Native Indian that's been put to death by the white man. I'm speaking for every victim of, of America. I'm speaking. Yeah, I'm answering your question. Listen. 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 So what? And, and what? So wait. Hold on. Hold on. So, so wait, this, your issue is abortion. Your, your issue is abortion. Your issue is abortion. That's your, let's sis. If, you, if we're going to deal with it, let's deal with it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, sis. Or else I'm going to just talk over you. I'm trying to understand what it is your issue is. You bring up abortion. Let's deal with one thing at a time if we're going to get somewhere. Or else I'm going to just dismiss you. Not because I have something against you, but because we ain't going to get nowhere. This ain't the church. Listen, listen, this ain't for recommendations. I ain't asking for your recommendations. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get to you what, what it is that's bothering you. Now, you made a statement now about abortions and us telling brothers to stop having sex with sisters and leaving them. Right? That is very valid. And since these men, myself, came in this school, we understood the value of sex with a black woman. Damn and according right. to this Bible, sex is marriage. Damn so right. now I watch every ass I stick my rod into. Right. That means I'm tied to her. So I am doing something about the brothers That's who right. have sex with women and leave them. Damn and right. Damn let right. me finish. But I'm also doing something about simple women who will open their legs for a smile and a giggle and a laugh. And then, and then, they're grown enough to have sex, but abscond responsibility when they miss the first period. That's right. There's something gravely wrong with that. Because in fact, how many 12 year olds contribute to the abortion rate in America? How many? How many of them 300 and 400,000? Black babies that die every year in Planned Parenthood come from 12 year olds. How many? How many? This, answer my question. How many? I understand you don't know because it's so small. It's a small amount. But the majority of abortions come from very competent, very much adult, black Hispanic women who have childish mentalities. 
They have childish mentality. You are putting a Let blanket me, over I all women. I am putting a blanket. So you know why? You know why? You, you know what's disrespectful? You know what? This is disrespectful to kill a child that can't even run away. It's not a child until it's five born. There's a difference between a fetus you, and a fetus and a baby that's walking around. You are an evil woman. You are an evil woman. You are, do you believe? Do you do you believe? Do you believe that there's life on Mars? Do you believe that there's life on Mars? I do believe there's life on Mars. What what is the proof? What is the proof that there's life on Mars? What is the evidence? Just tell me. Footage of what? Organ yes. microorganisms? Yes. Are, are those microorganisms smaller than a fetus or bigger? Are those microorganisms smaller than a fetus or bigger? Or about the same size? Or about the same size? Just focus now. Good night. You see the problem? You see why we can't have women up here teaching? I'm asking you a simple question. You said the teach. You said. You, you said. So, you said the. You said the. You said the bit. Listen, your issues is my issues. You my sister, you my flesh, you my goddamn woman. You don't belong to nobody else. I ain't speaking to you like you ain't shit. I'm educating you. This is brotherly love. This is brotherly love. This is family business. And I'm asking you a question. If the, if, if the fetus is not alive, according to you, how is their life on Mars? You see how disrespectful black women are? Right. Why are you so disrespectful? Right. Not, right. not you. I'm not saying that what's in a woman's womb does not matter. I'm it, not saying. Is it alive? It is alive. So then to it's kill it, organism. so then to kill it is murder. I'm That's not right. saying that that is the case. So then to the kill it is, is can, you know, we, wait, can we, can we, hold on. Resources probably hold away. On. Can you help restore so, the economic injustice that black women face? What you, you help think we do? What you think we doing? What you think you doing? You see on the you see on the pass and they tap you on the shoulder and they don't even know what you're talking about. Ask her what you're talking about. She don't know. She don't know. All she sees is a black woman talking to a black man and she jumps on your side. What? Ask her. Ask her. Why she didn't stop? Why didn't she stop? Listen. I don't have to. I don't have to know you. Listen. I don't have to know you personally. I don't have to know you personally. You're a black, you're a black woman in America. We both live in hell. Yes. We both been oppressed. Yes. I don't have to know your name and where you come from and what state you was in. Yes. You're a descendant of slaves, which means we've been oppressed. That's and I'm right. fixing your oppression. But I'm fixing brothers and I'm telling you. sisters, you can be strong. You can be stronger than what America say you are. It's a listen, listen, it's a it's a Listen, I ain't stepping inside your body, I'm stepping inside Planned Parenthood. I'm stepping inside Roe versus Wade courtroom. I'm stepping inside every graveyard that you don't put in the back of them dustbins for them aborted fetuses. This is not inside your body. This is not inside your body, sis. Go ahead. Sis, why don't you have some respect? We have a conversation. Move aside. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening to you. I understand, I understand that what, now I'm assuming something now, I understand that what we look like and how we talk might come across to you like, as if this is, see what I'm saying? And I don't want to have them right now. You see what I'm saying? Give me um, first Corinthians 11. Are you going to close it? Are you going to help me provide resources? You're goddamn right, God damn right we are. What do you think we do? Go look up ISUPK and Commander General Go look at ISUPK, Commander General Yohana. We take kids in off the street. We take sisters off the street. That's right. That's right. We take crackheads off the street. We take drug dealers off the street. That's right. We go into the prisons and we take hard damn right and turn them into men of the Lord. Damn right. And they try to run us like if we were them. We doing the work. That's why we can stand and talk. Because if I thought that you were a lost cause, I would have kept walking by. Like For the past few weeks, you were talking. You exactly. told me it was a lost cause. But exactly, but so, something today strike a chord with you. Something today strike a chord with you. Because I see it every day. Exactly, and finally, you can't take it. Now let me ask you something. You don't have to answer. But have you had abortions before? I understand your pain, and you shouldn't have to go through that. It's something that I've. It's. I understand. Listen. 
Hold on. It's not a small amount. It's not a small amount. It's bigger than you think. It's not an overwhelming majority, but it's bigger than you think. And the reason we're saying it like that is to let you know that abortion is murder. That's the first thing. Whether you did it under strenuous circumstances, whether you thought you didn't have a choice, or you willingly went to kill that child. You gotta understand it's murder. Now I understand what you did before. You thought you had no choice. You made a decision. But we out here to tell you today that that thing was wrong, and once you know it's wrong, you could change. That's and the right. next time you, the next time you open your legs, you gonna think about it. Right. And the next time you have a child, you are not going to murder that child just because the white man gave you a license. That ab abortion white man is. White man doesn't have to give me a license to do shit. I made that decision on my own. Yeah, but so... abortion is murder. So how come you're not in jail? How come you're not? How come you're not serving three life sentences? Do you know if I? Do That's you, the only reason why I respect you, because you're actually pro-life. Sis, sis, do you know if, if I'm driving a car, sis, if, if, if I'm driving a car, or I um, pull out a gun and I kill a pregnant woman and that baby dies, do you know, even if that baby's three months old, I get charged with double homicide? So how come, how, wait, 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 how, it what? It empowers women to say that this was what you wanted and somebody You that don't have right to that child. You don't have no right to that child. I don't. So does the child not have a right for me to raise it? The child has a right to live. That's and because right. because somebody allowed you That's to live, right. you right. should let that child right. live. That's and right. it's something we don't understand because we're living under oppression. We're living under Egypt again. We're living in captivity again. And I understand you, you think you didn't have a choice, and I ain't coming down on you for what you did in the past. We all had a past. And we turned away from that and became brand new. You didn't think brothers up here walked women into the clinic and made them kill their own children? You think you in this alone? You think you the only one who with heavy shoulders of babies as bodies on your conscience? Nah, man. You'd be selfish to think that. We in the same boat. Everything you experience, we experience. Right. And this white man called the devil, has done played us against each other. That's why you use words like, let me finish, why don't you let me, no I'm not, no I'm not. You know why I'm not playing us against each other? Because we having a conversation. That's progress. Normally I would have walked past and be like, them some crazy niggas. You been doing it for, you just said you are lost cause. You see what I'm saying? Why you do that? Because it, it's foreign to you, so you're like, what's wrong with him? No, I just don't need people to be rude. But he's not rude. We're a he's not rude. That's the spirit of the Lord. That's the spirit of the Lord. The Lord's people crying out for justice and righteousness. And that's the spirit of the Lord. Right. You don't have you don't have a right to that child's life. I'm not trying you to change your perspective. You have, you, you're you never going to do it. I but I, I am I'm for sure trying to let you know that whatever you did in your past, that's gone. Now you know better. Right. And now you're, you're fully responsible for it. You may get some mercy from before, because you probably was a little simple in your life. You didn't, you didn't take into account what you was doing. Three times is a lot. But going forward, you better not kill no more black children. You better not murder no more black children. The Lord, the Lord will hold you accountable from this day if you walk into Planned Parenthood and give them bastards money to murder our future. The Lord will hold you accountable. And this ain't coming down on you, this is brotherly love. We are build this nation up, and we can't do it separate. We cannot do it separate. And let me just get, let me just go in the Bible and show you one thing. Give me 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. Book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. That the head of who? Head of every man is Christ. And the head of every woman is the man. Hey, brother, brother, if, if you don't mind, let me finish making my point. You're, you're going to get to talk to us some other time, all right? Read it one more time. But I will have you know 
that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of every woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. What does that scripture mean? There's an order to everything in life. There's an order. Just, 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 like, just like the president, they call him what? The commander in chief. Because he's the head of the country and the military. And things flow downhill. And if something happens wrong in the house, guess who takes the blame? Him. You understand? The Lord is saying, listen man, don't interrupt me. Why you don't just have some respect? Let me finish this and I'm going to get to you. Let me finish this. Let me finish this. Jeez, I ain't arguing America's structure. It's a simple concept. The head of woman, the head of man, the head, let's deal one thing at a time. Let, let's deal this one thing at a time. Let's do one thing at a time. You see, you see what's going on? I'm trying to teach you about abortion and responsibility. And everybody else is trying to interrupt it. Listen to what I'm saying. The Lord, the Lord said, hold on. Listen, we, we out here. I'm not forming nothing in my mind. I'm not forming things in my mind. Listen, I'm forming things in my mind. And you better listen. The Lord said, the head of every man is Christ. The head of every woman is the man. And the head of, every, of Christ is the Lord. And, and for something, hold on. If you stand, listen. If you, there's no man to escort me around. Listen, that's, it's not about escorting you around, sis. It's not about escorting you around. It's not, it's not, it, it never said to make you whole. It never said to make her whole. This is a family structure. In a family, you have a mother and a father, and you have children. It is a partnership. It is a partnership. But, that, but the responsibility for the success of that household? No, leave that on the ground, man. Leave it on the ground. Come on. What? Jeez, man. Listen, y'all would never stop this sister and ask her how she going if you saw her on the goddamn street. Y'all would never ask her how she living or what she dealing with. She stop and ask us questions. Listen, but don't interrupt her, man. Well, God damn, man, don't interrupt it. It's a basic family. The head of the household is the man, then the woman, then the children. And we all fall under God's laws. And them laws have to come all the way down. In the course of our captivity, this devil broke up our family structure. So you think you're an individual. I think I'm an individual. You think you're empowered. And we, we, take, we take that self-pride to think we are, we are achieving something in America. Look, look at our condition. You ain't making no sense right now. No, no, I'm not, this is not you personal. I'm speaking generally. Look at our condition in America we, since, since we joined this white man in integration. Look at our condition. That's fair. How many abortions were happening before civil rights? Not that many as damn near half a million a year. It wasn't... But, but, but the cause, the cause, the cause for you seeking, not you, but a woman seeking the opportunity of abortion comes from lack of support, lack of options, lack of leadership, lack of support. All those we find in a family where a man is the head. No. Who's bashing sisters? Who's bashing sisters? What if somebody like, I have to see this shit every Friday, like, Okay. Like, come on, okay. Man. No problem. Listen, I need listen. You, you are a sister with a conscience. Listen, you are a sister. You are a sister with a conscience. You're right, but you are a sister with a conscience. In a conversation that mainly affects me. It doesn't mainly affect you. That's a selfish thing. Why? 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 Uh, there is physical pain to lose a child. Because if they're walking you into that clinic, they obviously don't give two patients a child. Listen, listen, brother, you 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 don't don't don't, don't get off topic. No, don't get off topic. Brothers feel the pain too. Why do you think we get high every day? Why do you think we get drunk every day? Why do you think we in the strip club seeking pleasure to escape the mental pain? We in pain also. I can't teach you how to be a woman. I can't teach you how to be a woman. I can teach you how to dress. I can teach you how to cover yourself. 
and I can teach you how to be strong so you can raise that child that you're gonna have. I can teach you. That's the problem. That's right. Men been teaching our women for 60 goddamn years. Ain't nobody tell him he can't teach. Michelle Obama just said Beyonce is a good role model for all her children. You mean to tell me you're gonna let this man teach your children? I can't teach every black woman how to be a sister. That's right! You know why? Because I learned from ISUPK and the commander joining her. And I'll bear the truth of this Bible. And in this Bible has real, hardcore, authentic black women. Real sisters. Real sisters. You need to for sure get a flyer and come up in this school. So you a sister with a conscience. You seen that sign and you was like, well, God damn, this is offensive. There's some women who see that sign and turn away and act like they ain't did nothing wrong. We, we have protests for Michael Brown and Eric Garner and Trayvon Martin and that's warranted, that's valid. Ain't nobody protesting for tons of babies that get abortion. I ain't going to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court ain't going in Planned Parenthood. I have to go to my sisters. I have to go to my brothers. This is the only protest that matters. Why would I go to the Supreme Court? Uh -huh. Of course. Provided you are Israelite. Provided you're black, so is your I father, I'm, I'm asking, is your father a descendant of a slave in America? I'm just asking, I ask everybody. This is DC. No, 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 it has nothing to do with light skin. It, it has to do with understanding your demographic. DC is full of Africans. That's why I ask you. All right? Having said this, having said that you can make a lady, teach a girl how to be a lady, right? So does that mean that a woman can teach a boy how to be a man? No, a woman can nurture a girl. So it doesn't work both ways? Are you serious? No. Are you serious right now? What's so the father is essential to the home. The uh, yeah. father is essential both to the home. Both is essential to the home. Both. Exactly. So if both are essential to the home, then why is no my voice just man. as valid as yours? Your voice is just as valid as, as ours. Your voice is just as valid. Like, but, but however, however, let, let me ask you, let me um, bring this to you. This is our organization right here. Right. This is the only organization for us. It is of both genders. Now, you said it's, it's ludicrous because black women should be allowed to raise black men. It should go both ways. I'm saying that one can't exist if the other doesn't. So I like never said one can't can, no. raise a man. I never said one cannot exist without the, the other. Of nature can't raise a lady. I'm, I'm saying I'm saying that a man is needed to produce both a profitable adult in a man and a woman in a household. Both parents are needed, but a woman definitely cannot do it on her own. What's the proof? A man can. He cannot. He cannot. He cannot. So now listen to what I'm saying. You know, you, I never said you were invalid. I never said you were invalid. What you what you what you repeating is what you've been taught through woman empowerment. I never said you were invalid. If you were invalid, I wouldn't listen to you. I wouldn't put a sign up begging sisters to stop committing abortions. I never said you were invalid. I'm saying a man is needed to raise a man. And a man is needed to raise a woman. Because at this, yes, yes, but as you can see, the majority of households in the last generation are single mothers, and we know the outcome. You understand? We know, we know the outcome. You can agree on that. So now we agree that you need a brother, and a brother needs a sister. You can agree on that. So now, I'm sorry. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on one time. Hold, hold, Hold on, hold on. No, but that's control. You, you can't just shoot. You can't just shoot it when it comes to your head. You'll be like Donald Trump. You'll be saying stuff. You'll be breathing all day. And that's and that's 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 how uh, that's that's how most men leave the household when a woman says whatever comes to her mind. Which is whatever comes to your mind. You don't you don't think we would like to say stuff you don't want to hear? And we practice all the time. But let's let's let's. let's but it's, Right? No, you see what I'm saying? I ain't never say that. I'm not saying that you say it, okay. but I'm saying that that's yeah, but you the overall can't, you narrative. Can't, you can't pass I can't that. put you in a box, right? But no, I'm not saying you can't put me in a box. I'm saying you can't pass that as correct behavior. That's not correct not behavior also. Correct behavior. That's what you said, right? But I'm saying that that's the issue that... We both face, that we both face. But since I've been educated in this truth, 
I know how to hold my tongue and not say every little thing that comes to my mind. And therefore, I can teach you how to hold your tongue and not say every little thing that comes to your mind. But follow a train of thought of logic and then receive the point and then say something. Now, now that we establish that a black woman needs a black man and a black man needs a black woman, the family structure is found here. And the hierarchy said, God first. How is this a, how is this a white man's Where's the proof? The original copies are left and like, what is that? Egypt or Ethiopia? Was King James white or black? King James was white! <laughs> <laughs> Why are there so many books missing from the Bible that highlight women as the hero? Or highlight men of color as the hero? Is it because King James was a, a was an Israelite? Give me his no. Since so I'm going to entertain you, your interjection for a quick second. But we need to get back to the found structure and emotion. Give me history of Susanna. Pull, pull, it, pull it just when the priest tried to have sex with her. You understand? Pull it right there when the priest tried to have sex with her. King James was a black man. King James of Scots was black. He's a descendant from the Tudor family. You look at the Tudor family, coat, coat of arms, they're black. He was a line of black rulers in Europe. He ruled in the time of what was called the Dark Ages. Because of course, anytime we prosper, white people suffer, they call it a dark period. Just like the twenties, with the Great Depression, we was living fat. <laughs> we was living high on the hog. King James was black. He didn't write the Bible. He didn't. He didn't. Well, we were still together. We wasn't killing each other and murdering babies. That was paradise. Say it again. Then what? Give the sister a hand, man. forced us to. You are a history major, but you don't have practical knowledge. This is universal practical knowledge. Segregation forced us to live together in peace and in harmony. We need to be separate again. Integration destroys. Now, let me get back to my point. King James was a black man who paid scholars to translate the Bible from he ancient Hebrew, Greek, and Latin into what we call today the Queen's English. He didn't write it. He didn't remove the books. We have the books. This is the apocrypha. It goes in between. Because the Roman Catholic Church removed this. The original King James 1611 has the apocrypha in it, which we have. Now, can I your copy? We have the original King James 1611 without the J's and where the U's look like V's. We have it. Where you can get it in the store, you'll have it with you, no know, swear. You can look it up. Right? King James was black. He didn't burn notebooks. He just empowered people to come up against the establishment by making the Bible readable. Now, let me get this is history of Susanna since you said there's no female heroes in the Bible. History of Susanna. Verse, verse 20. Uh -huh. Behold, the garden doors are shut uh -huh. that no man can see us. Right? This, this sister called Susanna. She was married to her brother. The brother had, was wealthy. She had her own private pool that she would go and bathe in naked every day. And these two priests who was lusting over her decided to go force her to have sex with them both. Much like in your Christian church. Much like in your Muslim mosque. Much like in your Congress and them. They get them young interns and pressure them into sex. Right? So let's see what happened with this sister in the Bible. And we are in love with thee. Uh -huh. Therefore, consent unto us. And lie with us. And lie with us. They, these, they, they, these Negroes here ain't got no sort of God damn man. Lie with us. Go ahead. Verse 21. Uh -huh. If thou wilt not, we will bear witness uh -huh. against thee right. that a young man was with thee. And therefore thou didst send away thy maids from thee. Right? Skip me down to where she denied them. So now they said if she didn't have sex with them. They was gonna lie to the public and said that she was with a young man. Now these is priests in Israel. The public will believe them. Just like if your mayors or Muriel Bowser come out and say something, what she said when them cops murdered Terra Sterling. We holding back the tapes, everybody trusted her. They released the tapes and we realized that devil murdered the brother. That's right. That's the power we have when you have corrupt leadership. And these leaders wanted to have sex with this woman. They said they was gonna tell her husband she was having sex with another man. She didn't have sex with them. That in the Bible is punishable by death. This sister was facing death to be stoned 
and this is what she said. Verse 24, with that Susanna cried with a loud voice. And, and the two elders cried out against her. Verse 25, then ran the one and opened the garden door. So she screamed out because she ain't getting down with it. So they run out to the public to try to tell the public, come, she's being a whore. Go ahead. Verse 26, so when the servants of the house heard the cry in the garden, they rushed in at her. Prison. The door. Now skip to this verse right here. Give me um, verse 39. And when, when, and when we saw them together, the man we, we could not hold, for he was stronger than we, and opened the door. Now they're telling the story that this man was in there having sex with her, and he overpowered them. Skip me down right here. Then Susanna. Verse 42. Uh -huh. Then Susanna cried out with a loud voice and said, O everlasting God, uh -huh. that knoweth the secrets, and knowest all things before they be. Right, go ahead. Thou knowest okay. that they have, have borne false witness against me. Go ahead. And behold, I must die, whereas I never did such things as these men have maliciously invented against me. Now listen, Susanna didn't buckle under the pressure. She was facing death, and she said, I ain't going out like this. I ain't having sex with these men. Right, no matter what they facing. You get pregnant, you had a child, you vomit for nine months, get fat, waddle your tail in the hospital, and spit that baby or bring them in here, we're gonna raise them up. We're gonna raise them up, we're gonna get the pumps, we're gonna get the stroller. Listen, brothers in here, baby, sit for other brothers. Sisters in here, baby, sit for other sisters. And that's how it used to be when we segregated. And there's another one in here with his sister who's facing death for eating pork. The king threatened her, said he would cut her tongue out if she didn't eat pork. She said, not eating pork is our sacred law. Take my tongue, take my hands. Told her sons, go to their death manfully. She didn't eat no pork. You ain't got to have no abortions in America. Don't listen to the white man no more. Listen to your brothers. Listen to black men and trust it. That's, you can listen to sisters too. But the wisdom from this Bible and the wisdom from the Lord comes from the men of the Lord. That's and it will right. behoove you to just put away that thing that America taught you That's right. and listen to brothers. Sisters have a role in this, in this revolution. They have a role and it's greater than you think. And it's very powerful. That's why we keep our women secret. Hey, head away. Because Mary gave birth to Christ after having sex with Joseph, who had spiritual power. Moses' mother gave birth to him. We go out to protect our sisters. They don't, they don't need to be on the front line fighting no wars. They need to be protected and taught how to keep a family together and not fill graves with babies. You understand? You cannot. That's not, you see, that, that's not your job. That's the problem. That's not your job. It's not about your right, it's about your job. Accept your job. You have a job on this thing. My job is to pop out babies and No, who said that? Who said, wait, who said that? Who said, who said your only job is to have babies? So what else does my job entail? Well, that's the first sensible question you ask all evening. And then the first, that you, the first sensible question you ask all evening is, what can I do in this revolution besides make babies? That's a good question, and that's a good place to be at. And I can't teach you it in one day. It's a transformation, because we live 400 years serving the white man. You're going to have to learn how to serve the people. And you're going to come to class and get in class and humble and take the teaching and ask your questions, get mad if you want to, and come back the next day. That's how we did it. That's how we did it. And uh, listen, an army, need, an army needs food, an army needs brothers' uh, brothers' garments to sew. Listen, an army needs bro brothers to get their hair braided. An army needs people to feed the kids who stay home and tend to the wounded. Let me ask you something. You're a sister. Can you sew? Well, this, this brother, this brother made this whole garment. This, you see this here? This, you see this fly shit he wearing here? He made this whole thing by hand. This entire thing. That's right. Who have an armband on? Anybody have the armbands? 
Not those, the leather ones. Now, in fact, short today. Oh, I'll show you a thing of beauty. That brother, handcraft leather by hand. You should be able to at least do this. This brother shaming you right now. He doing his job and yours. That's right. <laughs> Yes. Okay. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. If I decide I want to go take a martial arts class, I can learn how to whip somebody's ass, and that's my prerogative. That's fine. But listen, the, 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 woman, the woman in this school don't have to worry about whipping somebody oh. out. The reason, the reason, listen, the reason you worried, the reason you worried about protecting yourself is because you have nobody to protect you. That's right. Because you don't really have a family. That's right. But then why are you worried about protecting yourself? Because you, you my think, dad can't follow me everywhere. Oh, he doesn't have to follow you. Listen, you be but here. Day, be so here. Goes down, my father's gonna come running. So then why you gotta go give a damn Chinese man fifty dollars an hour to learn how to say hi ya? <laughs> <laughs> you, you should just have no, you should just have your father on speed guy. I'm not I'm not saying that I have to do it just because I feel the need to defend myself, but if that's my passion and that's something that I want to endeavor yeah, to Yeah, but how does that help that's a my nation? Right to do how does that help a nation? Now, listen, if you want to do it for recreation, that's fine. I ain't stopping you. But I'm, I'm telling you, if you think you're going to learn karate and jujitsu and think you're going to be on some front line I somewhere. Just you know, I'm just I'm using, you can go and learn to know that AK. I don't care. If you think that training in warfare is going to make you be like, oh, she knows how, know how to put together a gun. Come back here with us. You're short. We honor a sister according to the Bible. The, sister, the Bible says deal with them according to knowledge. That ain't your role. That ain't your job. I'll be, listen, if you could clean one of my guns, I'll be impressed. But that don't mean you're, you're still with your true potential. Just like me, it don't make no sense. I try to be feminine like brothers in DC walking up and down because the white man gave them a license to be feminine. You have to be feminine. Be like they're straight and then they on some DL shit. See, that's I don't what, even know that you're listen, gay and you're marrying me to save face. Listen, I, I, I hear you. Not you, you would rather them come me. out the closet fully. I would rather know who they are so I, I feel you. This, is what, like, this is what I'd rather. This is what I'd rather. I got you. I got you. And you, you, you doing what America is faced to do now with choosing the lesser of two evils with Trump and Hillary. You choosing the lesser of two evils with effeminate men. I'm not. I'm telling you, feminine men, you could be strong. You could, you could reject. You, no, it is a case by case basis, and we gonna build this house brick by brick. It's hard work, and we gonna do it. But that case by case is a nation business. It's a national business, and in this nation, black men ain't allowed to be feminine. That's sinful. Black men is to be masculine. That's right. Black, but you understand that there have been homosexual men who have been very critical to to what? And how and how is this race today? It's it's, it's a shining example, right? I'm this, not this, saying it's this a race is great. Example, but then, but, but then, you then, can't discount their contributions any more than you can discount. I ain't discounting it. I ain't discounting it. I'm using it as the proof that what they did and what they laid for us to follow was wrong, and we should not follow it anymore. That's right. I ain't discounting it. I'm using it in history, like America uses um, what's the traitor name? Benedict Arnold. America uses Benedict Arnold to show what should not be done. That's right. I'm using effeminate black leaders to show what should not be done. That's right. Martin Luther King loved the white woman even though Coretta Scott King married him. That should not be done. That, that, that's not the point. That's not, he went with white women off a of lust and made people get their head cracked open for it. That's right. That should not be done. And black here, back here, we teach black men to reject their personal lust and wants and desires for the wants and needs of a nation. That's right. And necessity beats desire any day. Necessity beats desire. Right? At the end of the day, we're all human, right? No, we're not. We're not all human. We're not all human. Can we agree on that? We're not all human. The white man is not human. He's an animal. No. That word homo, I'm very homophobic. Yes. That's all it exactly. Means. I'm allowed. very homophobic. Really I ain't. I ain't saying. Like, I'm oh, separate. I'm homophobic. You drop the phobic, what you left with? Homo. And I ain't homo. <laughs> I'm very homophobic. The homo sapien, homo this. Listen, we ain't all human. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, they the people of the year. They the children of God and everybody else. Hmm. But even children of God make mistakes, do they not? Yeah, we children did. We did. We, we have. So you're telling me that you're going to be perfect from now to the day you die? That's what we strive to do every single day. Of course you strive for it, but that's what it's going to happen. 
is going to happen. That's right. It's going to happen. And that's what we teach. You gonna give up. You gonna be like, well, it ain't, it ain't gonna happen. It is going to happen. The white man had a perfect society of slaves and slave masters. I will have a perfect society of brothers and sisters who will live together, raise a family, not commit abortions, and have white people as slaves. Perfect. Picture perfect. I can see it now. I can see clearly now the rainbow. God is the head of you, then you can't control everything. Say again. If God is the head of man, then man does not have total control. I'm not controlling anything. I'm not controlling anything. So there are some things that are beyond your control. But I'm not controlling anything. No. I'm not controlling anything. What I'm doing is playing my part. The Bible is God's word. I found out that this book was written about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's right. And once I found that out, I decided to look for my part in here. I was like, well, where am I? Where am I? This Bible said we're the real Jews, and white man is the devil. And this Bible says, this Bible says that he that lead, give me Revelation 13, 9 and 10. This Bible promises justice and righteousness for what happened to us if we obey God. It promises it. And you, a perfect society. Let me tell you what, what is a perfect society? Let me ask you. You're taking up a whole ton of time here, sis. I hope to see you in class. Not for your personal desire, but for the, for, for, the, for the salvation of yourself. And to make sure you, you, get, you really get this message. What is a perfect society in your mind? What is perfection? What is exactly, perfection? everybody's idea of perfection is different. But then, Your idea of perfection and his, and his idea if, if, or his if you, idea if you or her family, idea is different. If you had a husband and children, if you, had, if you had a husband and children, right? Just hypothetically speaking, what would be a perfect household for you? A household in which my husband and I make decisions together. Uh -huh. and a what about your children? A household where my children respect me. How do they respect you? By doing what you say. That's right. We God's children. Being perfect is doing what He said. Of course. Be, being perfect. Assumes that I'm telling them to do things with their best interest at heart. Because well, not all your, mothers your, are created equal. Not all fathers are created equal. That's why we have a class where you can come and learn how to be a good mother, how to be a good father, and a sister, and a brother. Well, let's show your appreciation and show up in class. That's what you need to do. So let me show you a perfect society. In my, in my carnal desire, perfect society is one without white people. That's right. Where my daughter don't have to look at some fairy tale that's with some blonde hair, blue eyed princess and strive to think that's beauty when that's the ugliest thing on you. That's a perfect society. That's perfect. When I don't have to, my sons don't have to look at no white boy and none pushing homosexuality and I have to explain to him why two men kiss. That's a perfect society. Imagine a society where you never have to explain to your children the white man. Just imagine it. All the cartoons is black and empowering. And the only thugs is white boys with tattoos. The only drug dealers is white boys with tattoos. The only hoes twerking is white, white crackhead hoes. You understand? And, and we live in, are we saying that because we live in amongst them? They're the majority right? anyway, we're just the ones that get the camera. We, they're not the majority of nothing, they're just in power. Right. right? You, put all, you, see this, you see this big sign here? Judah, Benjamin, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, all the way down to Issachar. You see, the, you see the, the, the world names for those? Negroes, West Indians, Haitians. Combine all those together and tell me who more than them. That's every Negro, Hispanic, Native Indian in North America, Central, South, the Caribbean, and Scatter. They ain't more than nothing. Go ahead. Book of Revelations, chapter 13, verses 9 and 10. Uh -huh. If any man have an ear, let him hear. If you have any understanding, we all have ears. We say if you have understanding to hear this, listen. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. One more time. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. We still slaves in America. We still in captivity. And who led us here? The white man. The white man. The founding fathers. He put us in slavery. You that led us into captivity, go ahead. 
shall go into captivity. You must go into slavery. You must go into captivity. That's justice. That's a perfect world. There's more. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword. He that what? He that killeth with the sword. He that kills with the sword. Ain't nobody killing more than the white man. They like to portray us like we the most violent people on the earth. Have you ever, ever heard of John Gotti? Have you ever been looking in Chicago? Come on, man. The Italian Mafia, Valentine's Day Mafia, Mussolini, Hitler, who, say again, Oregon. Listen, the white man is the most violent beast on the earth. You kill everybody with the sword. You bomb Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you murder the Native Indians, you murder us. You murder the Mexicans and tell them they're illegal immigrants in their own goddamn house. You kill with the sword. Read again. He that killeth with the sword must what? Must what? Must maybe must if they give us civil rights. Must if they show us love. Must if they put a black president in office. Must be killed with the sword. That's justice. That's justice. Keep reading. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. This is the patience and the faith of the saints. This is what the patience about. This is what we're waiting on. We ain't telling nobody go kill white people. One white, dirty bastard life can't pay for hundreds of years of slavery. That's right. But I will take that train to have them in slavery. To kick in their doors and sell their babies into slavery like they did ours. That's what I want. I want justice. And to have justice, both brothers and sisters is going to have to change. And the reason why it might seem like it comes out hard on the sisters, I'm going to give you a secret. The white man empowered sisters and used you all indirectly That's right. to fight us. That's right. You may not know it, or you may know it, but you had to recognize it. And you had to, we had to recognize our faults. You've been under 400 years of slavery, I've been under 400 years of slavery. We ain't perfect, right. but goddammit, we're going to make this thing work. I want my white slaves. And if that means making sure you don't go into abortion clinic, you ain't going to a goddamn abortion clinic. And you're going to learn to be a sister, you're going to learn to be humble, you're going to learn to control your mouth and not say everything that comes to your head. But you're going to learn to cook, you're going to learn to make the baddest food in the world. You're going to learn to sew and produce garments. And you know why? Because now we can have black businesses. That's right, brother. You, know, you never see that. Black women always say, oh, you just want me to make babies and cook and clean? Yes! So we can have businesses. Wow. No. No. Oh no. What? What? No. No. no, no. It's, it's, he's not laughing at you. He's not laughing at you. He's laughing at you, at your perception of your. I'm not saying that me having ambition means that you don't. He's not. He's not laughing at that. You, you're totally lost in the sauce right now. He's laughing at your perception of your position in America. You think that be, black women being highly educated and have more opportunities and growing, the most grow, fastest growing um, demographic of entrepreneurs is because of your own drive. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. What's the, what's the, the most, what's the, re, what's the demographic that benefited the most from civil rights? White woman. Give her a hand, she's be smart on her face. I will get ready to fuck, I will get ready to drop this. That's a lot. So now, if white women were the, the, the single demographic that benefited the most from our slavery, who follows after white women the most in America? Come on, we ain't, we ain't personal here. We ain't personal here. We are personal, not you personally. I'm talking about black women. Here. It's natural. It's natural. It's not. It's not. I'm talking. I'm talking before that. I'm talking late 60s, early 70s. When I'm, I'm talking about when they decided to break up the family structure. I'm talking about when they decided to break up the family structure by telling women they could only get wealthier if the husband was out the house, and we were still together in that time, so that woman would take the welfare and still allow the brother to come in and split it and see his kids. But you know what started happening around the end of the, um, the 70s, early 80s? I know they changed the welfare system. Not the welfare system. Not the welfare system. What started coming on TV was women's lib. Empowerment. 
So now you're getting all the wealth, and now you have a false sense of empowerment that you don't need no man. And all of a sudden, that's what happened. That's that's why brothers, you get the brothers out the house first. That's 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 what split the family. So now, from welfare. We're going to allow the woman, you're a double minority. Of right. course it's going to be higher, of course it's going to be accepted into schools more. That has nothing to do with your drive. That has nothing to do with drive. That has to do with a plan this devil has. And listen, we're going to use that plan. Our wives back here is masters and doctors, you'll never know it. Lawyers. Brothers here is masters and doctors and lawyers, you'll never know. We are master mechanics, civil engineers, mechanical professors in DC's finest institutions back here. No, you didn't, because you passed by for weeks thinking we was a lost cause. No, I think that by it's believable. It's believable. It's believable. It's, it's believable. Listen, ignore that, man. We have in this family business. So you understand, say plot. Now we gotta understand now, we gotta flip it on this devil. Go get that money, bring it here so I can build an army. So when Christ come back, we have men to slaughter this devil and raise up in this place. That's you right. wanna be of help? Do it, go get educated, I ain't gonna stop you. You're gonna have them kids too. And you're gonna learn something else. You're gonna learn to make these things. You're gonna learn to braid this year. You're gonna learn how to be a mother. Because really, your education just makes you a slave for him. That's right. Whatever education. Listen, you're, we all slaves. We have some ten dollar hour slaves, and we have fourteen million dollar slaves. That's right. They call professional ball players. That's right. Big millionaires and cannot not play. You're a slave. I'm a slave. Go slave. When you come home, I'm going to teach you how to be a black woman. That's right. I'm going to teach you how to take those shackles off your mind and your hands. That's and you're going to raise up kids. And in a year, you wouldn't believe the progress you make. That's right. I ain't going to take up no more of your time. I appreciate that, sis. Get a flyer and come to the class, all right? They sit, they sit. All right. Give that captain a hand. Give that captain a hand. Give that captain a hand. <laughs> That's what we do. We, we save lives and this lift our brothers and sisters up. My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain and a lot of sorrow. Got betrayed, so packed. I didn't even have my heart broke. Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick, a habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.